Hi students, today we discuss a new concept that is hydrocarbons. Before we can start this topic, we should know the information of one element in a periodic table that is carbon compound. Carbon atomic number is equal to 6 and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Here the carbon compound containing 4 valency electrons. So the carbon compound will share their 4 electrons with 4 other carbon compounds and form 4 single covalent bonds. So here the carbon compound will exhibit a tetravalency. That means the carbon compound will be formed 4 combined with 4 other car compounds. Next, catenation property. The property of self-linkage of identical atoms and form a long chains compounds. That property is named as a catenation. Formation of a multiple bonds. Carbon atoms capable of forming multiple bonds with other carbon atoms. Due to these special properties of tetravalency, catenation, and the formation of multiple bonds, we can today we can discuss the new concept that is hydrocarbons. What is meant by a hydrocarbons? A compounds which containing only carbon and hydrogens. That compounds we have to name it as a hydrocarbons. These hydrocarbons are classified into two types. They are open chain hydrocarbons or alicyclic hydrocar acyclic hydrocarbons or aliphatic hydrocarbons. Next, another classification is cyclic hydrocarbons or closed chain hydrocarbons. Now, we discuss one by one. Open chain hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon straight chains. The hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon straight chains are called open chain hydrocarbons or acyclic hydrocarbons or it can also be named as aliphatic hydrocarbons. Now, cyclic or closed chain hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon ring structures. They are named as a cyclic or closed chain hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbons containing Carbon-carbon closed rings in their structures are called cyclic or closed chain hydrocarbons. Now, the open chain hydrocarbon are further classified into two types. They are saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. What is meant by a saturated hydrocarbons? The hydrocarbons containing Single covalent bonds in their structures. They are named as saturated hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbons containing single covalent bonds in their structures are named as saturated hydrocarbons. Example for saturated hydrocarbons are alkanes. What is meant by alkanes? The hydrocarbons which containing single only single covalent bond between the carbon atoms are called alkanes. Once again, I am repeating here. The hydrocarbons which contain only a single covalent bond between the carbon atoms are called alkanes. Now we discuss about unsaturated hydrocarbons. The hydrocarbons which containing double or triple covalent bonds in their structures are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. Once again, I am repeating here, the hydrocarbons which containing double or triple covalent bonds in their structures are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. These unsaturated hydrocarbons are further classified into two types. They are alkenes and alkynes. Now we discuss about alkenes. What is meant by alkenes? The hydrocarbons which containing 
at least one double bond between the two carbon atoms is called alkenes once again i am repeating here the hydrocarbons which containing at least one double bond between the carbon atoms is called alkenes next what is the definition of alkenes the hydrocarbons which containing at least one triple bond that means three bonds between the two carbon atoms is called alkenes i am once again repeating here the hydrocarbons which containing at least one triple bond between the two carbon atoms are called alkenes now we can discuss about the classification of cyclic or closed chain hydrocarbons the closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons are classified into two types they are alicyclic hydrocarbons aromatic hydrocarbons the aromatic hydrocarbons may also be named as a arenes now we discuss about alicyclic hydrocarbons what is meant by alicyclic hydrocarbons the hydrocarbons which containing carbon ring structures these hydrocarbons we are named as a alicyclic alicyclic means they are a cyclic in manner that means in a closed manner what are the example for this alicyclic hydrocarbons means cycloalkenes example for cycloalkenes are cyclopropane here these cycloalkenes in cyclopropane the compound containing three carbon atoms this is an example for cyclobutane this compound containing four carbon atom in a closed manner this is a closed cycle so this is called a alicyclic hydrocarbon this is uh, this name is uh, cyclopentane penta means five carbon compounds that means 1 2 3 4 5 so this is called a cyclopentane this cyclopentane containing five carbon compounds in the form of a ring system so these cycloalkenes are an example for alicyclic hydrocarbons now we discuss about the aromatic hydrocarbons these aromatic hydrocarbons means a cyclic carbon compounds containing single bond and multiple bonds in alternative manner look at here closely this is an example for benzene ring in benzene ring when we observed here this is a single bond after the single bond you may observe a double bond after the double bond you observe a single bond after a single bond you observe a double bond after that single after that double bond that means as carbon cycle which containing single and double bonds in a alternative manner these compounds we have to named as a aromatic hydrocarbons example for aromatic hydrocarbons are benzene naphthalene anthracene etc why we are naming arenes for this aromatic hydrocarbons means a carbon compound a cyclic carbon compound which containing at least one benzene ring that compounds we have to named as a arenes and these aromatic compounds will follow the huckel's rule this class is very useful for 10th class students and intermediate beginning students you follow thoroughly my videos in my my next video i can explain the nomenclature of saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons that means alkenes alkenes and alkynes thank you for watching this video